This is gonna be a very chill and laid back video, but me and my mom, we're excited because we're taking a spontaneous trip to Houston to see Albert Pujols in Houston. If you know anything about me, you know Albert Pujols is my most favorite baseball player, and this is like probably his last year to play. So this could be the last time I get to see Albert Pujols in person. So of course, this video may not be as exciting, but it's going to be very exciting for me personally. That's why I wanted to make this video, go see this game. Uh, I'm gonna get some shots of Albert Pujols and some of the game. It's gonna be a good game because you got Kershaw on the mound, and then the Astros got a Cy Young pitcher pitching as well. So it's, it's going to be a good game. I'm hoping for an Albert Pujols home run. That would be dope. But at least a hit and some kind of RBI would be cool. I'm excited. We're going to Houston now. We're going to get there early so we can catch the batting practice and maybe even catch a batting practice Albert Pujols home run. Who knows? So let's get to Houston. So I forgot to mention, uh, I don't dislike the Astros or the Dodgers, but uh, my, my loyalty goes to the Cardinals, so that's why I'm supporting the Cardinals today. But we are in, what, Baytown? Uh, Baytown. And we're at the Buckies. So me and my mom are about to go get some Buckies. We're almost there. We got about like 20, 30 minutes left before we make it. And the gates open at 5.30 and batting practice will be starting around then. So, so let's go to Buckies, and then we'll go to batting practice. We're here, I got my glove. We parked a little ways down, so we got some walking to do, but here we go. You got the Sharpie? I got the Sharpie. She's got the Sharpie, just in case, you know, that that, that chance Albert Pujols wants to sign my hat. That would be kind of cool. The 2011 World Series hat for the Cardinals. Albert Pujols was on that team, played a big role. It would be kind of cool if he signed that, but we're sitting in the right field stands, so. It's, it's not very likely, but who knows? Man Made Park, been here many times before. I already see some Dodgers fans in Houston. That's actually interesting. The Dodgers are a contending team this year, and they did win the World Series last year, so I can see, I can see that. We made it through security fairly easy. We're in Texas, so thank you very much. I found some Dodgers fans, there's some Astros fans of course, but I don't see any Cardinals fans just yet. But I guarantee you, I probably won't be the only one. There's a good mix of Dodgers and Astros fans. Probably too many Dodgers fans to be honest with you, being all the way in Texas. It's not good for the Astros. Lance Berkman, he's, a, he's actually a Cardinals classic. A big reason why we won the World Series in 2011. This is actually kind of, this is actually kind of strange. Look at all that blue in Minute Maid Park. There's actually quite a bit of Dodgers fans in Houston. It's almost outnumbering the Houston fans. Right field bleachers. Me and my mom, we're at six, seven, we got the down ball. But honestly, this is a great home run ball. If that, we got a player that can hit hard enough to the right field spins, we are in a good position for a home run ball. And this ticket was only 49 bucks. And honestly, this is a really, really good seat. Dude, 49 bucks to see a major league baseball game is pretty good deal. Wait, no, dude, no. Dude, we're actually, honestly, I almost prefer this more than down there. The only, the only, uh, the only downfall is if it's a pop fly right at the fence, then we won't get to see it. We got the scoreboard up there, so. That is a weird thing, is the scoreboard. We don't get a scoreboard view, but we can always look. They have a deal today where you get hot dogs for a dollar. So I'm about to get three hot dogs for a dollar. And then the soda is seven bucks. So it ended up being ten dollars for three hot dogs and a drink. I mean, for a baseball game, three hot dogs for three dollars is pretty dang good. So we'll take it. They got a 
under section here. MMA Park. I've seen lots of Dodgers fans, lots of Astros fans, and I've seen a few Cardinals fans. I figured I wouldn't be the only one with Albert Pujols uh, coming to Houston. You can't see him very well, but that is Albert Pujols warming up, playing first base today. I'm excited. Cover as a umpire for little league games and makes back calls. Yeah. 
I think it's funny after the day. I hate it. Two outs with the runner at third. The Astros cleanup hitter is coming up the bat. They're down by two. Two outs with the runner at third. The hit scores are high. Solid for the Dodgers recently. He's happy because he knows our close is coming up on deck. This guy can't choke though. This guy needs to get on. <laughs> he needs to walk too. with runners in scoring position. He's looking for another RBI. Pulis has gotten five hits and five RBIs in the last six games he's played. This could be six hits and six RBIs. Kershaw to... She's carrying out right there. 
Jeffrey and Cy Young were the pitchers, and they're like three. That was a hit by the. That was a shot for the Astros, but the Dodgers were there. They were excited, but this guy's now excited. He's been excited all game. Watching him has been a blast. The Dodgers are putting the bat to the ball. They just hit another, another single to the left field. There's a lot of drive. Ball in the lineup, though. Are we looking at a double play ball? It's another hit for the Dodgers. Running the first and third. Going up to the top of the lineup, Mookie Betts. The Dodgers are already up 4-0. Clayton Kershaw is still on the mound. Alex Bregman is coming up to bat in the bottom of the seventh. He could be the guy to get something going. Putting on a dominant pitching performance tonight. Only giving up three uh, hits. When runners on base, he, he takes care of business. Oh, yeah. Just like that. First off, takes out the last man. Only giving up one run. That's incredible. Going into the top of the eighth. Dodgers lead five to one. Will Smith just got a single for the Dodgers, which means Albert Pujols will probably come to bat this inning. <laughs> Possibly could get a hit and an RBI. That would be kind of dope. Runners at first and second. Albert Pujols is coming up to bat. This could be Albert Pujols' last at bat that I see in person. Albert Pujols. First baseman number 55, Albert Pujols. Let's go. Come on. Something happened. Get out of here, ball. Get out of here, ball. That's it. That's it. Play. RBI single. They called it foul. That ball, I've got no video. That ball is in. Hell of a shot. Well, that's it, folks. Our boys can still hit the ball.
has been taunting the Astros fans all night long. The Dodgers just scored another run on a base on balls, and now the manager is coming back out. The Astros is taking their pitcher out once again, bringing in another guy. It is not looking good for the Astros here. They just walked another run in in the top of the eighth. Ooh. And now the top of the lineup for the Dodgers coming up. Mookie Betts is coming up to bat. Clayton Kershaw is having an amazing pitching performance. But here in the bottom of the eighth, he had pitched a uh, pitch to force a ground ball, and then there is an error on the shortstop. And now Astros may have something here. Or is that a double play ball to make up for it? And it's a double play. Makes up for the air. Double. They are both gone. Clayton Kershaw, man. This is the man right here. And the top line is coming up. They may be taking him out. Astros fans are leaving the building. All the Astros fans are leaving the building while the Dodgers fans are having a party. Like, not even kidding. They all sat together and they all partied together. As they enter in the last inning, the Dodgers lead. This guy didn't get the memo that he was supposed to sit over there. But he's having his own party. We're going to the bottom of the last inning and as you can see, there is nobody hardly in the stadium. Everybody's left. They're not being my mom. We'll stay until the end because we're true baseball fans. I, I thought I was about to catch a baseball. I'm not even kidding. Ball came up and I was ready for it. And it, it veered off. I was I was in motion. I I went. I was on. I was like. I was ready. I wonder if I'll be on TV for that foul ball. <laughs> There's no one in the crowd. So if I if, if I was, you'd be able to pinpoint me. We're at the bottom of the last inning. It's not a one, but the Astros are putting together a string of hits. Runners at first and second. No outs. Can, can we get a uh, bottom of ninth inning comeback? Now that Pujols is not in the game, I guess I'm for the Astros. I mean, I really have, that's why I wore my Cardinal stuff, because I don't align with the other team, but. I think a comeback would be pretty cool. The Astros score a run. And though they're down by seven points, there's still some excitement in the air. Down to the last out of the game.
Dodgers win, nine to two. Clayton Kershaw off the win. Thanks, Mom, for getting these tickets. I got to see Everquoise play. That may be the last chance I get to see Everquoise play in person. So even though he didn't get any hits, I at least got to see him play first base and get uh, – and honestly, he had that foul ball right next to us that honestly very well could have been home run to a fair. So that was cool. What a game. Our Poirot didn't get any hits, unfortunately, but can we just talk about the pitching performance of Clayton Kershaw? Like, Kershaw put on a show. I mean, he, he gave up a home run, but that's that's literally like the only hit he gave up the entire game. And, I mean, that that's likely. He gave up one run the entire game and then pitched eight innings. He had a great game. Uh, props to Clayton Kershaw. Unfortunate for... Albert Pujols to be the only player in the lineup to not get a hit, and that might be why they punished him and they took him out of the game. But, oh well. Unfortunately, the Astros lost 2-9. Uh, and uh, can, we, can we just talk about the amount of Dodgers fans in Houston? Like, that was mind-blowing to look out and see pretty much almost the same amount of blue as there was orange. And, this, and they're in, like, they've come all this way. Some probably live here, but some I imagine even came all this way, which is blows my mind that there were so many Dodgers fans compared to Houston Astros fans. I feel like the whole cheating scandal may be a possible reason why uh, the Astros fans aren't coming to the games or Astros fans are uh, limiting or losing numbers because of the whole scandal thing. But... You definitely had some loyal fans today getting in fights with Dodgers fans as I caught a lot of that on tape. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I enjoyed the game because that might have been uh, the last chance I get to watch Albert Pujols play in person. I'll see you next time with another video. Let's go.